Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series. And today I am going to be talking about Episode 11, Complications, which I have just finished watching. And this episode was a hell of a roller coaster ride, to say the very least. This was absolutely fantastic and it didn't let up once from start to finish. Unbelievable. We are two episodes away from season three wrapping up, which also means we are two editions away from bringing this review series to a close. But boy, oh boy, this was brilliant. And, you know, as I keep saying from the very beginning, this show just continues to keep getting better and better all the time. Even some of the episodes that didn't have any action, they were really good as well. And this episode really helps set up the final two episodes in a big way, especially with the way this one ended, which we are going to be talking about as we go along here. So, as always, I am going to give a quick recap of what's happened so far. And then after that, we are going to get straight into talking about episode 11. So as we saw previously in episode 10, we see Lois has now finished her chemotherapy. And we saw Lois trying to get Pia to admit to framing Lex Luthor, who, as we all know, is currently in prison for a crime that he didn't commit. There's a first. We also see Clark is trying to spend time with the boys, but they decide to go to a party. And we also see Jordan and Sarah have a major fallout before Sarah and George Jr. crash to the car. While trying to escape, we see Jordan rescue them. And we also see Kyle Cushion finally learn the truth about Clark having powers when he mistakenly believes that Jonathan Kent was the one who had powers. We also see Bruno Mannheim's son, Matteo, visits his mum here and secretly gives his mum Bruno's cure, which he extracted from Bizarro's corpse. We see her powers have now been restored and we see her force Lois to help her escape and she totally destroys the DOD. And we saw at the end, by Bizarro's body, Pia reunited with Bruno Mannheim and their son, Matteo. An emotional conclusion to episode 10 and an epic setup for episode 11. So with that all said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about episode 11, Complications. This episode opens up with Lois in the hospital and we see that her battle with breast cancer is only halfway done as she is scheduled to have a double mastectomy to remove the cancerous tissues completely. She prepares for her surgery mentally and physically by spending time with her friends and family, including Lana Lang and John Henry Irons. And we see Lois has had excellent support from Clark and her sons as they're doing everything they can to make sure everything runs as smoothly for her as possible. And they go in with a lot of fear and uncertainty, not knowing how exactly Lois is going to come out of this. So this was a very good and emotional start to episode 11. Meanwhile, we see at Metropolis, the Mannheims have planned their escape from Metropolis. As we see, Bruno and Pia are looking forward to their beach house and finally living from the eyes of the public. Matteo is also feeling good, hopeful for a new start for his parents, despite losing his girlfriend and most of his friends, since he committed a massive crime by helping Pia to escape. With NC, Pia is barely able to control her powers as we start to see her powers and disease manifest itself through a series of very aggressive coughing that triggers her sonic booms. And we also see that Pia has been terrorizing Metropolis with her powers since she escaped. And it seems like the cure that made her powers more potent as Superman is not even able to locate her. Even though the cure has made her more powerful, the silver lining is it was only an experiment 
very highly dangerous and isn't always guaranteed to work. At least not that's not how Bruno Mannheim imagined it. It will turn out to be. We also see Clark and Kyle talk. Now that Kyle knows the truth about Clark Kent being Superman. And Kyle is shocked and surprised, but we surprisingly see him take it very well. However, he gets into an argument with Chrissy since she kept this secret from him and she tries to gaslight him into dropping the issue altogether when he told that he suspects someone in Smallville had superpowers and made him believe that he was going crazy. See, the day of Lois's operation has arrived and Lois, the boys and Clark are in the hospital room preparing Lois for her procedure. We then see Jordan has a panic attack which leads to him having x-ray vision so another power has come through for jordan and we see him going crazy in a manner very similar to what we saw with clark as a young boy in man of steel as he scours around with his x-ray vision while trying to keep it under control and attempt to turn it off we then see at the other end of metropolis natalie has visited the now abandoned manheim mansion and she is looking for mateo since she never got a proper closure with him John Henry followed her naturally by placing a tracker on her suit. Wow. He is mad that she went to visit the mansion on her own, but understands her side of the story. She is young, in love, and hurt. There is nothing he can say to make her feel better. But he gives her some solid advice by not dwelling on the past too much. Well, I suppose that's sensible advice. We do see, however, Natalie places a form of a tracking device in the house, so... She can be notified in case Matteo does finally reappear. We also see that Pia's powers are becoming more potent as the tremors involving her powers are starting to cut off all of the electricity in Metropolis. And Bruno thinks that another dose of the cure will help improve things. But however, this just only makes things worse. We then see Pia completely runs out of control and kills Mannheim's henchman in cold blood, only leaving a splatter of him on the wall. Yuck. That is disgusting. Matteo is totally horrified and runs upstairs to seek help. Bruno tries to stop him, but he can't leave Pia's side. Pia begs him to stop, claiming that he can't save her. She knows that she is about to explode any second and she needs to put some distance between them. She knows that she is close to dying and there's nothing that Bruno can do to stop it. He's played God and it's backfired. Her state is now infinitely worse than it was before and she puts both her family and the innocent people of Metropolis in danger. Wow. We then see, as a result of Pia screaming, the entire building and basement begins to collapse, leaving Bruno behind in the rubble. Damn. We see Matteo makes his way to the mansion and Nat's tracking device immediately recognises him and it only takes a few seconds for Natalie to appear at the mansion. Matteo is scared, thinking that she will arrest him. Natalie explains that she only wants to talk to him. Matteo is apologetic and claims that he regrets freeing Pia. Bruno told him that the cure would work, and he didn't know any better. He trusted his dad, and his dad let him down. Well, he's right, <laughs> you know. We see Natalie feels for him and wants to help him, and in that moment, Bruno Mannheim appears with his henchman, and starts threatening Natalie. We then see John Henry Irons arrives in the room and says, put your differences aside, and let's try and help you save Pia. We then see Superman is doing his best to locate Pia as she's about to blow up any second, taking the whole city block with her, possibly. She is losing control rapidly, and her sonic booms are getting harder to control. We then see Superman finally locates Pia and he can't even get close to her due to the ferocity of her screams. He tells her to focus on his voice and wants to help her. He doesn't want her to suffer and he knows that her family wouldn't want her to suffer either. Pia slowly lets her guard down and Superman manages to lift her high above the air over Metropolis. Matteo and Bruno are witnessing the moment and they see a massive explosion in the sky at a high altitude. It's Pia's powers, she finally has lost control and dies. Several seconds later, we see the screaming has finally stopped and Superman slowly puts Pia down on the ground with Matteo and Bruno. Wow, this was this was quite an epic, uh, you know, climax to say the very least. 
Superman tells Bruno and Mateo that her last words were that she loves them more than anything. We then see Bruno and Mateo are broken, but at least the city is safe and Lois's operation can continue in peace. We then also see Kyle and Lana give Sarah a pep talk about her behaviour and we see her trying to put things right and try to not make the same mistakes that her dad made. We also see Lois's operation has gone well and she is at home recovering. Clark tells her what happened with Pia. Even though she is sad, she is aware there could have been no other outcome and she's glad that Clark was there with her in her final moments. Bruno and Matteo are held at the DOD with Bruno promising to reveal everything he's done if the DOD will drop all charges against his son. He wants his son to have the best life possible and he wants him to have a better future. Nice. We then see John Henry Irons has agreed to look after Matteo. And then as we see at the very end, we see Bruno Mannheim's laboratory has been completely destroyed. And we see Bizarro has been fully resurrected and barely able to control himself as he starts to roar and scream in absolute pain. And that's how we end episode 11. Overall, this episode was absolutely fantastic. As I said at the beginning, a real roller coaster ride from start to finish. This didn't let up once. And Pia basically exploding and dying in Superman's arms was quite a bittersweet moment, to say the very least. Yes, she caused trouble, but at the end of the day, she was still a human being and, you know, with a family. So it was a very bittersweet moment, to say the very least. And you know, Lois's operation going very well. So that brings that story arc to a close. I thought the show did a tremendous job with the way they handled Lois's cancer and Jordan developing X-ray vision. Didn't really see that one coming. I mean, I knew that he would get it eventually, but I didn't think it would be in this episode. I thought maybe he might get it in the season finale, but this was a welcome um, moment to say the least. And seeing him in the corner, holding his head, as I mentioned, brought back flashes of young Clark in Man of Steel. So I thought that was a nice little touch they did there. And seeing Bizarro showing up at the end. Oh, yes. We are in for two monster episodes as we are slowly getting ready to bring season three to a close. Can't wait to see how that's going to play out. So that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What was your thoughts on episode 11? Did you enjoy it? How did you feel about Pia dying? Do you think it was a bittersweet moment? And what do you think is going to happen with Matteo now that Bruno has handed himself in in exchange for his son's freedom? And also what's going to happen now that Bizarro is back and alive and well? What will he do? Why was he screaming in pain? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series, where I am going to be talking about Episode 12, which I am very much looking forward to seeing, especially with the way this entire episode played out, and especially the way it ended. It's going to be epic, and I can't wait to see it. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.